<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. I've been having uh, several people email me about a, a video on exactly how we do our bale and roller. And so this morning, uh, we're going to give them a fresh piece of stock pile down here, but we're going to sacrifice a bale this morning. <laughs> Um, they'll eat it. Uh, we will unroll it out here on what we've already un, what we've already grazed. One of the things that we do is, if you are going to unroll hay, don't unroll hay on fresh stockpile. Make sure they've grazed it off first, and then put the hay over what's been grazed. Otherwise, all you're doing is covering up some really high quality stockpile with that bale of hay. So here's our four wheeler. Uh, we got a Honda. That's a 500 cc, and uh, we got our bale and roller hooked on and. Casey, you want to go ahead and pull the spikes out? So we that's the first step. You take the chain off, pull the spikes out. And these spikes get really shiny after you unroll about one or two bales. This is a brand new bale unroller, so it's a little bit stiff. But you can see, here's our boat winch. That's a geared boat winch on the front. And it's got a nylon strap going up there. And he's going to back up. Alex, you want to go ahead and back up to the bale? Uh, it does have a two inch ball on it. So Alex is gonna back the bale unroller up and get it around the bale. And then we're gonna drive the spikes in. And then you just basically jack it up. And uh, looks pretty good there, Al. You, you nailed that sucker. You can, I told Alex there wasn't any pressure on him. He was on film this morning. <laughs> he hit it. He hit it dead. Perfect. Um, he acts like he's done that once or twice. Anyway, you, you, you drive the spikes in, and uh, sometimes it helps if you've got a little hammer, but Alex just shoved that one right in. And then you put the, the chain on, the hook. If you don't put that chain on the hook while it's unrolling, that, that spike can work its way back out. And now we're ready to jack it up. So, <clears throat> Casey is actually going to bring it back up until it hits this stop right here. There it is. Okay, ready to go. And Casey and I are going to stand on this wire. Because we had to, we got a little area here just so we could film, keep the cows off the bale while we unrolled it. And he's going to bring that forward across this wire. So we're going to go out here on top of this hill up here and I like to put hay up on a point if you have a preference because it doesn't hurt to put it in any spot but up on top of a point when you unroll hay you're concentrating all your nutrients there and then you can use gravity to work all your good uh, nutrients out of that bale and the manure because this thing is absolutely going to get hammered when we start unrolling it. You can see that four wheeler, it's not having any trouble at all pulling that bale. Now one thing we learned last year is when it was really, really wet, we just drove the spikes in the bale. We didn't lift up the bale, we just left it on the ground and rolled it out to the cows like a big drum. And by doing that, you take all the weight off those axles. We didn't leave any ruts. And I'm talking, it was ruddy. It was mud, 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 mud. But you leave the netting on, just drive your spikes in and uh, take it out to your cows and take the netting off and, and feed them. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty slick little gizmo. It's wet out here. Of course, it froze last night a little bit, but I'm telling you, it's pretty darn wet. And uh, I can show you, well, there's no ruts. There is no ruts. All there is is a track in top of this ground. So they're going to go ahead and cut the netting off now. Casey, go ahead and get the netting off. So once you get it to where you want to feed, <coughs> he's taking the netting off right here. Then Alex is going to come on the front once Casey's out of the way. See, he's reversed the direction of that winch. 
Okay, are you clear, Casey? I'm good. Okay, so he's gonna let it come back. Here yeah, it comes back onto the ground. <clears throat> so once he takes off with that bale, that netting is gonna come off of that bale. Okay. There's two ways you can do it. Alex actually took that hook off, which is fine. I've seen people unroll it and leave the hook on there. Just to make sure that your winch is going the right direction. But for this video, we took it off. So now we're clean, we're ready to go. And Alex is gonna take off. And he's got the netting right here. So he can get the netting off the bale. You want to make sure you get all that netting. Okay, you're good. If you don't get the netting, you can have a cow ingest that. Look how that's coming off of that. I mean, it's coming off just as fast as he's driving. I mean, he's going to town. Folks, you're spreading your fertility out over your paddock. I hate bell rings. Look at that. He's doing that with a 700 pound foil. We're feeding 292 head this morning with a foil. And we're not leaving any ruts. That's the beautiful part of it. So you're spreading, you know, we buy our hay, we don't put it up. There's hay contractors, that's all they do is bail. And so we, we purchase the hay from them, bring it out on our farm and unroll it. And uh, you're getting a lot of nutrients out here so this is this is a pretty pretty good ridge because of what we're doing. Look at that thing go. I mean, he's getting some speed there. But one of the other things you see that dust cloud over the top of him. That's seed. There's a lot of seed in there. And so as he's spreading the hay out, not as he's feeding the cows, he's spreading a lot of good seed out there. I mean, he's hauling. Look at that, folks. There's one bale here, one 1200 1300 pound bale we got 292 head and everything's got a place to eat if you put this in a bale ring you'd be lucky to get 20 cows around it and you'd tear up the sod look at that man he took that whole thing off and he did it in just a little bit of time he's got just a little a little bump left there there he goes Sometimes there's just a little, a little nubbin left on the end. I think he just got it all off of there. So Alex is going to go ahead and jack that up now. And if he had another one, which we're not going to, we're only going to put one out. Because they're going to get some really good stockpile here in a little bit. But cows are chewing on it. Calves are chewing on it. We put down some really good fertility. And so I'm going to go down and show you what Alex has got going here. Oh yeah, he's just got a little nubbin left there. Okay, so he's already put his uh, winch on. Now he's gonna jack that up. And because there's just a little bit of a, a donut left there, he unhooks that chain, pulls each one out. There it is. So the reason these feet are on here, folks, I put feet on the bottom of this is when this thing unrolls if it didn't have that feet on there push that spike in and you get down to the very bottom of your bale that big old spikes running around on the top of the ground and you hit a stump you just put a 45 degree bend in your bale unroller so if those feet on there on each side that prevents you from doing that so I think that's good guys if you want to jack that up and move it up and so there he goes. Now, if you were going to go and roll another bale, you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't take it all the way down. But see, we actually have uh, added one safety feature on this. Um, we put these springs on there. So as you're rolling it up now, it's got these big coil springs on each side. That arm, as it's rolled back toward the four-wheeler, it catches those springs and doesn't let this thing come down you know at a you might say just drops down anymore it can it's got springs on it um, one of the things that uh, 
we do like about this thing is Alex you want to roll that back into the catch the bail position I just want you to take it off that take it off this foiler by hand and push it toward those cows I want you to show people keep going get it clear down over the axle there that's good now if he takes that off watch this look how light that is that's one guy of course he's in soggy ground right here but look at that one guy pushing it around piece of cake now he's going uphill now <laughs> but he's still alex is a pretty stout dude look at that one person so by taking the tongs and putting them back over the axles, there's no tongue weight. If you leave the tongs over the tongue, you've got about 200 pounds of tongue weight. So don't do that. Always extend it if you're going to take it off your four-wheeler, pickup truck, or whatever. I think that's a wrap. Um, we're going to go move these cows onto some fresh stock pond here in a bit, and everyone have a great day. That's the Greg Judy Bail and Roller. Go to greenpasturesfarm.net if you want to email me, and uh, we can talk about uh prices and stuff like that